Hey, welcome back. There is a play up in Westchester. It's called What's Eating You? What's it about, Rosanna? Well, it's being staged this month in Westchester County. It revolves around four foodies, among them a couple whose son suffers from severe food allergies. Joe Brook, a journalist who has written for The Post, Daily News, Huffington Post. Uh, she was a correspondent on CNN. She is the writer of this play. Jill Brook, welcome to Good Day, New York. Well, good day to you guys. All right, so, so how did you get into this play? What, why did, what, and, you know. Well, you know, we can't ignore right now the rise in food allergies, asthma, autism, and see that there has to be an environmental link and a food link. Like when we were growing up, did you know many people with food allergies? No. Uh, my friends all ate peanut butter sandwiches at school. Right. Now it was you a can't staple. do that. Exactly. So now, meanwhile, this play is about food allergies, but it's funny, I heard. Well, it's a total comedy because think about it. Two foodies who have gone throughout New York eating at all the best restaurants, including yours, of course, and all of a sudden they have this child with severe food allergies and it, how it really rip, almost is ripping apart the parents because one parent says, why should I deny all these wonderful flavors I've enjoyed my whole life just because of one kid? Huh. Shouldn't we be teaching him self-discipline? <laughs> and the father becomes a food activist and he actually prays to God and he said, if you let my son live after one bad episode, I promise I'll say grace every night and I'm going to try to find a cure for why there are so many food allergies. And he wants to deny the whole kitchen any flavors for the other kids and you know she also says excuse me does the whole ecosystem of our whole family including our other kids have to suffer because of this one child well sorry yeah, exactly. <laughs> well let me ask you this what are the consequences if this kid has something he's allergic to is it like you know a rash or does he die no people can die from I know allergies. they can generally but in your show well, that's the threat. And you want to know what? As um, his friends are going out to dinner with the father, you know, they look at a potato, all right, on the, t on the plate, and he's getting uptight, and the friends are dismissing it as friends do because they think, oh, these parents, these New York parents. And then, in fact, what he said is, you know, you expect me to be calm. If that waiter didn't use protective gloves when touching shellfish, that's, that's the equivalent of an Al-Qaeda terrorist living inside that baked potato with a chemical bomb that could detonate in my kid. All right, that's... That's f that gets a big laugh. It gets a laugh. It does. All right. So I know that your hopes are to bring this play uh, to off Broadway. Yes. But right now it's being staged in a winery. How apropos a food uh, a show about food being staged in a winery? All right. It's the winery at St. George because wines have characters in this particular play, as does food, because we have to get the foodies and the wine people, obviously, to really enjoy the flavors of life, the sensations of life, and also we have this incredible scene where um, the couples are together and you know they talk about their dating life and the two things they hated that were the deal breakers when they went out dating okay and you can relate to this I'm sure okay let's right. say let's All see right. what it is no comment. You go out no comment what, but go, let's what? just no, check go, it go, out try. Okay. Um, you go out and it's the first date and you say and the girl you say to the girl would you like some dessert and she goes, no, 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 I'm on a diet, I, um, you know, I don't want anything. And as um, Justin, who's the chef in this um, play, says, okay, fine, so I'm about to eat my chocolate souffle, and what does she do? Ten seconds, ten seconds, that's all it took before she forked me. She literally went, took her fork, went into mine on the first date, and she automatically is that taboo? thinks. Yes, wait. because she thinks that what's his is automatically hers. You know what, and Justin has a problem with that? Justin should realize he's doing just fine. <laughs> doing They're fine. sharing food together. Oh, you think that's Dummy? Yes, it's a, yes, I think it's a romantic. Okay. Totally. Well, sharing the fork, it's very intimate. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, but, you know, some people are germophobic. They don't yeah, want that. You're right. Justin that. sounds like a real that. drag. <laughs> he's fun. I promise you he's fun. And then I bet you, yeah, you uh, can relate to what? this. You go out to dinner with a group of friends, and um, somebody orders a really expensive bottle of wine without consulting you. It's like, waiter, and you get the bill. You haven't maybe even drank more than one sip and he expects you to split it you want to know what i call that what? getting corkscrewed oh. <laughs> because you shouldn't order expensive wines without checking with without everybody. checking because somebody's cash flow you know may not be what yours is so it's all the you know all the how we nourish and poison relationships through food i love yeah. it how long is this running for it's running for two more weeks at the winery at st george and please come and we're hoping to take it to new york in september Fantastic. sounds good and you just one thing you know dividing the check is a tricky business it is. rosanna how does it go down at the restaurant? Do people say, okay, I had this, so therefore I should no. pay that? Everybody just kind of throws in their credit card. Throws in their credit card. Yeah. Because those, they don't forget, they forget tax and tip. Right. You got to factor in tax and tip. Yeah. I right. like this. So what's the name of the play again? It's called What's Eating You?
And Joe where Park. is it? It's at the winery at St. George in, Yonk, uh, in Yorktown, New York, and we're really hoping lots of people come because it's really smart, funny, and a tasty treat. Cool. All right. Nice to see